Hi everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Just wanna let you guys know Mike's doing great. And today he requested that I make chopped cheese sandwiches for dinner. Today I'm making a New York City chopped cheese sandwich. It's a sandwich that like if you took a cheeseburger and it married a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, that's what you would get. The first time that Ken and I ever had one was years ago. We were in Harlem and we were stopping at a little bodega. Uh, bodega is like a little corner uh, neighborhood market. We were going in to get a couple bottles of water and we noticed a line queuing up and the guy behind the counter was making these sandwiches. And I asked the guy in line, I said, hey, what is this? He goes, chopped cheese, like I'm supposed to know. <laughs> and I had never heard of it before, but he goes, you know, they're really good. When I looked at Ken, he was already in the line. So that was the first time we had a chopped cheese sandwich. And um, yeah, <laughs> we've been hooked ever since. But um, very humble ingredients. Let me show you what you're gonna need. The ingredients you will need for this recipe is two pounds of 80-20 ground beef. I just formed it into six patties. One large onion, a little bit of shredded lettuce, some sliced tomato, um, three to four slices of cheese per serving, so 18 to 24 slices. I know it sounds like a lot, but these sandwiches uh, you cut in half uh, for a serving. You need some hoagie rolls, mayonnaise, a little bit of ketchup, salt and pepper, and the secret ingredient is sesson. And this is the spice uh, mixture they use to flavor this. It's, it's real critical. Comes in a package, something like this. You can find it at Walmart. It's, it's readily available. All right, that's all you need. Okay, so that's what you're gonna need. And just very humble ingredients. It's how they cook it that is gonna give it that Philly cheesesteak flavor. They get like a caramelization on it towards the end and it really does taste like a Philly cheesesteak. But anyway, let me uh, turn the camera around and I'll show you guys how to do it. I went ahead and put the patties in an iron skillet. I'm starting to cook them. I seasoned them with salt and pepper in one Sazon packet. And then when I flip them, I'll season the other side with salt and pepper in another Sazon packet. All right, I'm gonna flip these and season the other side. I went ahead and seasoned it with salt and pepper in the other packet of Sazon. We're just gonna cook this. I added the onions seasoned with salt and pepper. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna start chopping the hamburgers into pieces. And then I'm gonna mix them with the onions. That's what it's gonna look like. And now I'm gonna keep cooking this because I want all the onions to kind of just dissipate into the meat mixture. As you can see, I pulled most of the meat to the side of the pan and I have one serving here that's cooking in the grease. And this is where your flavor is gonna transform from cheeseburger to like Philly cheesesteak. It's gonna get very caramelized. The onions are gonna disappear. As soon as it gets, uh, really caramelized. I'll turn this a couple of times because I want to caramelize it on all the sides. We'll be topping it with the cheese. But I'll bring you back and show you what that looks like. Now that we've gotten some good color on the hamburger, I'm going to put some American cheese on. This is four slices, two slices thick. We want the cheese to melt. To put the sandwich together, you take a hoagie roll and you wanna toast it on each side, the top and the bottom. The bun is nice and toasted. I'm going to take some mayonnaise and spread it on the inside of the roll. Now we wanna take the meat and cheese and get it on the sandwich. It's like a poor man's um, Philly cheesesteak. how the meat has really browned up. That's what you want. That's where all the flavor is. 
Okay, let's finish off this sandwich. Okay, we're gonna take a little squirt of ketchup and take some thinly sliced lettuce. The lettuce really adds something. It cuts a lot of the fat and then a little bit of tomato. That is the chopped cheese sandwich. Delish. It's a little bit of an ugly duckling, but the taste, oh my goodness, so good. If you have teenagers, they're gonna love this. And it's really rich and it's very filling. Yeah, very inexpensive meal. You can fill them up on this one. Well, that's it. That's a chopped cheese sandwich. I hope you guys give this a try, especially if you have like teenage, college age boys that have the bottomless pit. <laughs> this sandwich is very, very filling and it's something that I think they'll enjoy. Well, anyway, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Until the next video, take care. Mm -hmm.